Hey everybody, it's Chris here from business.chriscurry.com. I thank God that you took time out of your day to watch this video where I'm gonna talk about three companies whose stocks are whose stock price is doing well regardless of how bad the economy is. And this is really interesting to know because I want you to go over this with you so we can, because I like to talk about things about uh, thinking uh, and understanding why things are happening or how things happened, right? thinking about your money, about your business, thinking about what's going on in the economy, and also thinking about your thinking, right? If you can understand what you're thinking about, you can change your mindset. And then if you understand, you can make decisions better and then move forward and prosper and do well in everything that you put your hands to do. So today I'm gonna to talk about three companies that I did some research on just on their stock price. And we're gonna ask the question, why are these three companies stock prices up right now even though the economy and everything else in the economy is down at the time that I'm recording it recording this video it is the second week of May all right so we have all been in lockdown for maybe almost uh, two months now and companies uh, have laid off employees and pe nobody's going out to go shopping and whatever because of the situation that's going out there going on out there in the world right but there are three companies that I did some research on and I have my little notes right here and I did some research on these companies and they're actually their stock price has actually gone way up even after in this economy and as a result of all the lockdowns they have found a way to benefit from what's going on so I'm going to talk about these three companies right now the first company is Peloton so Peloton is a uh, um, exercise bike that where you can buy the bike and you download an app and join a membership and you can do workouts on the exercise bike bike and uh, watch the videos and be encouraged by their personal trainers as you as you were doing your workouts in your home so basically that's how uh, that company works there are two different memberships that you can have either i think it's a 45 dollar level membership and a 29 dollar a month membership the first one is when you need to purchase a bike from them uh, they deliver the bike to your house and then you sign up and you enroll for your courses and then you watch the videos on your bike and um you do the you, you do the training sessions live with whoever else who's who the instructor who's training it and then there is the second level where you can have your own bike or your own equipment and you're just signing up for the app the membership service and uh you're just going along with the program right so those are two different um membership levels that they do have so their stock price let me just go over these numbers for you at the beginning of march peloton's stock price was 27 dollars right at the beginning of march the lockdowns went in place and the stock market started to tank around the middle of march around march uh 13th to the 17th 18th that's when the stock prices went the lowest so the stock price for peloton on march 13th was $19.72. So it went from $27 at the beginning of March to $19, right, per share. Effective May 7th, that's when I did this research, May 7th, their stock price rose to $44.12. Why did that happen? Okay, so we got to think now. Now, if you have done any research about buying stocks and stuff like that, you understand this term. It's called buying the dip, right? So in a recession like this, there's an opportunity to make a lot of money if you can time the time that you go in and purchase stocks. If they're, you buy low, you can make a lot of money as it starts to go back up, right? So based on my research, the dip was, and I don't know if this is the end, and this is not financial advice. I'm just giving you my opinion based on my research, okay? So don't hold me to this information, but just learn and think with me as I go through this information. So based on everything that I've researched, I think the dip was in that week of March 13th to the 18th. So March, 19, uh, March 13th, the stock price for Peloton went to $19. Mar May 7th, after it went down to $19 on March 13th, it went up to $44 on May 7th. Why did that happen? Everybody was locked down. Think about it. Everybody was locked down in the house. Nobody can go to the gym and work out. They were closed in public parks in my area, so you can't even go to those public parks to take a run. You're limited to what you can do and the interaction with other people. But Peloton, 
because of the way that company is structured, it gives you the ability to interact with other people working out on their app, on their membership. So what happened was as everybody was secluded in their own homes, they still crave that connection with other people and that uh, that need to work out and exercise, right? Because you need to stick to your regular routine. These are people who may have regularly gone to gyms, but gyms are closed now because you can't go so close to people anymore because of the lockdowns. But these people are now working out in their home and they're using the Peloton app. So that company, because everybody's in their home and they still need to work out, they're benefiting as a result of these lockdowns. Peloton is benefiting as a result of these lockdowns because people are still working out and doing their exercise as they're in their homes, right? So that's one company. The second company is Shopify. Okay, so the retail industry, I talked about the restaurant industry in a previous video and how restaurants can save themselves from going bankrupt. So if you know anyone that owns a restaurant uh, and they need to figure out how to deal with that financially, you can share that video with them and I'll link it somewhere in the description or whatever. I'll share it so that you can watch it and send it to someone else who owns a restaurant if they need financial help. But the retail industry has taken a big hit as a result of these lockdowns as well. Why? Because all malls are closed. All stores are closed. People can't go in and spend their money. No, everybody has to stay in their homes. But what is in people's homes? Their computers. And online shopping, if it wasn't big before, it has taken a huge step forward now. Now, Shopify, here's the research that I did on Shopify. It was um, a huge, it was, very an expensive stock before. So at the beginning of March, the stock price was $669 per share. March 16th, it took a dip. And based on my research, the lowest dip that it, the lowest the stock price was, uh, was on March 16th, it went to $458 per share. But from March 16th to May 7th, the stock price rose to $1,016 per share from $458. That's more than doubled, right, in that period of time. Why, you ask? Hmm, now think about it. As I mentioned before, all retail companies have closed their doors. They can't accept cash. They can't accept people coming into their stores any longer. But the companies that have online shopping capabilities through their website were able to prosper. And the companies that didn't needed to get it quick. What is Shopify? Shopify is an e-commerce platform for web for websites for companies for retail companies that will enable them to shop or enable people to buy their products online, e-commerce, right? So, as a result of the lockdown, these companies that need to stay in business, they needed to go to an online platform and promote their products that way so that they can still make some money right and, and generate some revenue so what was happening it was a lot of these companies who did not have an online presence or an online e-commerce uh, uh, arm to their business had to get it and get it quick so Shopify is that company that has an all-in-one platform where retail companies can buy that plugin for their website and install it and then list their products and sell it and still make revenue for their business during these lockdowns when people are not going into their stores. So that's why Shopify, the Shopify stock is going so much higher than it was before the lockdowns happened, right? So before the lockdowns happened, in the beginning of March, it was $669 per share. Now, May 7th, the, the stock price went up to $1,016, right? That's amazing, right? But you see, you have to think about why, which companies will prosper during this time, which companies are best suited for their stock price to increase during as a result of everything that's happening, right? It's not just by accident, right? It's You have to think about it and understand what's going on. And then you can see why companies like Peloton, their stock price has increased so much. Companies like Shopify, why their companies had their stock price has increased so much. The last one is it's a, this one's a kind of a no-brainer, but I'm just gonna go over the numbers anyways with you. The last company that I'm gonna talk about is Netflix. Right? So Netflix at the beginning of March, their stock price was $383 per share. 
their lowest stock price as a result of their, this recession that we're in right now went down to $298 per share. That was on March 16th, okay? Um, now, when I did my research on May 7th, their stock price went up to $436, right? So the beginning of March, it was $383. Beginning of May, May 7th, it was 436. Now, why did that one increase? It's simple. Everybody's home and people just need something to do. So what's happening? What's happening? People are just sitting home and they're streaming Netflix. They're subscribing for it if they didn't have it before because they need to do something to kill the time. And it's $10 a month or I think there's a free trial or whatever it is. But there's next Netflix is experiencing more members. So more members equals a valuable, more valuable company because they're making more revenue and they're making more revenue, their stock price goes up. So this one is simple because more everybody's locked down and everyone's in their house. Now more people need to find something to do and what are they doing? They're resorting to streaming shows and watching things on Netflix to entertain themselves while they are secluded, quarantined, locked down in their homes. So that's, that's basically it, right? So you see with these three companies that I went over, we got to think and understand what's going on in the world and see how these companies are positioned to benefit. Now, with out of those three companies that I've mentioned, you may be thinking about other companies that are in good position to benefit as a result of all of these lockdowns and quarantines and self-isolations, all these things that are going on right now, right? But if you do know any companies that are positioned to benefit, think about it, put them in the comments below. I would love to hear your research that you've done. Look at the companies, uh, do some research and look at around when all these lockdowns started to happen in the world. Um, in Canada and in the US, it started to happen around the middle of March. Look at the company stock price, which companies, most companies went down during that time. There was a dip in the economy and in every company's stock price. So every company's stock price went down around that week of March. But there are some companies that have rebounded quite nicely and their stock prices have gone up. Other companies have kind of flatlined and they're kind of going up and there's other companies who are, are still down right like the airline companies uh who are still in a huge and the tourism uh the re hotel and hospitality industry all the companies in that industry their stock prices are still very low right now okay but in the comments below put a comment if you know that there's a company that you have seen that has um increased in value or that is well positioned that in the future, in the next coming months, because the economy will eventually open up and people will eventually be able to go out of their house and do something. So the question you ask yourself is, what are people going to do? What do you think people are going to do or how are they going to spend their money and which companies are they going to spend their money with when the economy opens back up and people are allowed to go out of their houses and go back into the malls and go back into the and and spend their money and start to work again where which companies are best positioned to prosper when that happens because it's going to happen but you got to think and understand what's going on in order to take advantage of those companies because you still might be able to buy some stocks right now that it's low in the event that when the economy opens up, that stock price will go up and you can make some money. That's all I got to say for this video. This is Chris from business.chrisperry.com. I have a link in the video below uh, to my website where you can find out more about me. I also got some videos right here that you can click on and watch if you think that they will benefit you. I think they will, so you should click on them and watch them. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.